Kinetica's next-generation IoT database, vectorized for real-time analysis, can analyze data using multiple variables across hours, days, and years, and use this to make accurate predictions. In order to do this in this demo, we need to know weather data, and we're getting this information from the National Weather Service API. Streaming data from the National Weather Service is coming in via a Kafka event queue, one record per city every minute for 25 cities. First, we create the credential needed to connect to the Kafka queue, and then a data source for the topic Weather Data 2. Now the data will stream into the streaming underscore weather table continuously. And in the table, you can see there's information about base, clouds, coordinates, wind speed, temperature, time zone, and visibility. Next, let's create stream underscore weather view, which does a transformation on the data that we received from the weather service as JSON subfields. We're going to extract longitude, latitude, temperature, and wind speed so that we can use them directly for geoanalytics and predictions of windmill power at a location. Now what we're going to do is take the coordinates columns, both longitude and latitude, and use them for visualizations. Let's click here to select everything from weather view. And you can see that instead of the text columns, we've now got longitude and latitude, which means we can visualize the data on a map. If we click configure, we can see the table name and the configuration knows which fields are longitude and latitude, so we can render it. Here, we can see all the cities we are getting weather data from. So going back to the research lab, where we had all those independent variables, we're going to execute a function called prediction and we're going to use the mean power coefficient for the wind speed and temperature at 80 meters to predict the power coefficient based on different weather conditions. So how do we do this? In statistics and machine learning, one method is linear regression. What we are doing here is a multivariate linear regression using wind speed and temperature to predict the power coefficient for another value of wind speed and temperature. So we've created a function called prediction using SQL and we're saying the source of the file is this Python file. Here we are saying, create a SQL function based on Python code using this file path. Now this file is held locally, so how did we get it on the cloud instance? If we go here to files, you can see that there are folders and we can upload new files here. You can see that this file is already uploaded. So now we've got this function, we just need to go here and say execute the function prediction where we have the input as the 80 meter speed and temperature and the associated power coefficient. Then from the streaming weather data, we select the speed and temperature as the new set of independent variables for which we want to predict the associated power coefficient. Finally, we're going to create an output table called MultiPredict. So we created a data source, we loaded the data, and we were able to predict power production based on weather conditions. And that's how easy it is to make predictions using the Kinetica Next Generation IoT database on an as-a-service offering on Microsoft Azure. For more information, visit Kinetica.com.